what we will cover is downloading Salesforce CPQ from the App Exchange and also signing up for a free Trailhead playground that already has Salesforce CPQ installed. So you might ask, well, why do I need to go to the App Exchange to download Salesforce CPQ? Just a little bit of uh, history. So Salesforce, they actually acquired a company called Steelbrick back in 2015. And they acquired the company because they had an advanced quoting capability that Salesforce did not have on their platform. So they acquired them. And now in order to use Salesforce CPQ, you do actually have to go to the app exchange and install install it in your production environment and your sale sandbox environment. Um, so here, as you can see, on my screen here, I'm always going to start with the official Salesforce documentation here. There is some documentation on how to install the software, how to set things up. This is all here. But for the purposes of, of this session, what I want you to focus in on, on is the link here to actually install it into your environment. So it takes you to the Still Bit Brick website. And as you can see, this is where you would do your initial installation and any future upgrades. So here is the Salesforce CPQ installation that you would click on to download in production or in Sandbox. Please keep in mind, though, that in order to install this in a Sandbox or a production in order to start using it, you actually have to purchase the licenses from Salesforce. Once you have that all squared away, then you can come in here and install it in a, in a Sandbox or a production. So in addition to Salesforce CPQ, you also have Salesforce billing that goes hand in hand. That's another product that Salesforce sells that essentially allows you to bill these, these quotes after the sales reps have done all of the quoting process. And then there's also advanced approvals where this definitely comes hand in hand with Salesforce CPQ. So you have the sales reps quoting, but then there may be some approvals based off of information that they've added to a quote. So you would also have to install this separately. So scrolling back up to the top on the initial Salesforce CPQ installation. So if you wanted to install it in a sandbox, you'll just click on this link here. And then this is where you would be prompted to, to, to log into your sandbox. And then you can start the installation process. Keep in mind for our course here, we won't go this route because we want to make sure that you have an environment that you can feel free to test in, make any changes as, as needed. So what we will do for this training session is go over to Trailhead. Trailhead is essentially an environment that Salesforce has set up so that everyone can, can learn uh, new skills. So here, I, I will also add this link at, at, at the bottom of the page so that you can click the link and, and start the installation. So here, as you can see, this Trailhead link goes over setting up Trailhead Playground for CPQ. And you may ask, well, I already might have a, a Trailhead, Sam, uh, I might already have a, a playground. Well, for CPQ, in order to start using the, the functionality, you do actually have to have a specific uh, playground designated for 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 CPQ that already has it installed. So you don't have to go through that installation process that I went over here to describe if you were actually going to install it in your environment. So if you scroll down here in order to and get that CPQ in order to get the CPQ a playground, you would first either have to sign up for a Trailhead account, or if you already have a Trailhead account, you would just simply log in. So I'm just going to log in since I've all, I already have an account. All right, so now that I'm logged in, 
into Trailhead still on the same, this article here, this Trailhead article. If you scroll down, you can see that the login page is gone. So just always come back to the link after, after you've logged in. And if you can scroll down, it shows you sign up for a developer edition or and Salesforce CPQ. So if you just click on this link here, It'll take you to a sign-in page where you can sign in set, and set up the account. So once you fill out this form here and click sign me up, it could take up to about 10 minutes for you to receive the email. If you go into your email, this is what the email will, will look like. It'll ask you to verify your account and you would just click on verify account here. And then from here, you'll, you'll set up a password. So once you've reset your password, you've, you'll be taken to this org here where you will already have a Salesforce CPQ installed. So you don't have to do any of the installation. So if you click here on the app launcher on the left side, and as you can see, the first app that comes up is Salesforce CPQ. And from there, you're all set. You're ready to go with this Salesforce CPQ environment. Please take the time to set up your your playground for Salesforce CPQ on the next videos. We'll dive into setting up the configuration.